Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Banished. And I have been hard at work between episodes. Check this out, guys. Look at this. We got the walls up. The Botania room is looking good. Everything's all nice and secure and walled off. If you come through here, I've got farms going for carrots and wheat and potatoes to keep me well fed and nourished. <laughs> so yeah, I've been busy. Uh, in today's episode, what I want to do is I want to dive in to Equivalent Exchange 3 a little bit because that is going to open up a lot of doors for us in a lot of different ways. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is find kind of a spot to set this up and I'm thinking we'll do it like right over here is kind of what I'm leaning towards. So let's put this stuff all together. That's not where that goes. That goes right there. There we go. So here we have the Aludel and here we have the Kelsinator. Now, there is a full quest line. I have a feeling that I've got a... Oh no, what do I have a quest in? I have a quest for something. Oh, pure magic. Oh, Rod of the Land. Okay, cool. I will claim that, and that will give me three Black Lotus. I totally forgot that that was even a quest. There we go. Uh, anyway, so back to Equivalent Exchange. So there is a quest line for that here under Matter Conversion, and I'm going to want to make this, the Tome of Alchemical Knowledge. So if we look at that, I need a book, and I need minium dust, red, red minium dust. Um, I don't remember what the other ones are called. They might be called something different, but either way, I need a book. And I happen to have some red minium dust. I'll show you how to make it in a second, because we will definitely be needing more of it. But, where is, there's my sugar cane. Actually, I thought I had some paper somewhere. Where you be? Oh, there you are. Okay. And then let's grab some leather. And let's just make ourselves a book real quick. I'm also going to need some coal. And then I'll need, I'll grab some diamonds and some other stuff as well. But if we come over here and put the book in there with the minium dust and then a piece of coal to start smelting it, this is actually going to turn into our tome of alchemical knowledge that we need, which is good. There we go. So we've got that, and that's going to give me three bookshelves. Then the next thing I need to do is make a research station. So let's take a look at that. And that is smooth stone, a slab, and two ingots. So that's all pretty easy to make. Eat a little bit of food, there we go. And I've got smooth stone right there. I've got my slabs in this chest. I just need one of those. And then I need two ingots. And that goes like that. And that gives us the research station. And the research station is going to be used to essentially teach the tome of alchemical knowledge stuff. So if I put this here and I put a diamond in there, I am going to lose the diamond, but when this is done, there we go, I now know everything about diamonds. So basically I'm just going to want to feed this thing all sorts of good stuff and items and information and things like that. So to expedite that process just a little bit, I'm going to go with some super crazy vanilla mechanics. <laughs> and we're going to make a hopper. And there we go. And then I will also grab one chest out of there as well. And we can just actually feed a hopper into this, put a chest on top, 
And then if I can, I can feed it charcoal, I can feed it normal coal, I can feed it an iron ingot, redstone, um, stone bricks, a torch, all sorts of good stuff. And it will learn about whatever I want to teach it. So, that is super useful. Now, let's see, what's next in this quest line? Transmutation awaits. So, I'm going to need some ash-infused stone, some chalk, and some chalk. Uh, actual chalk blocks. So, the first thing is the ash-infused stone. And that's not too hard. I think I need nine of them, if I remember correctly. So, for that, I'm just going to make... Uh, actually, let's make a little bit more than that. I've got... I've got enough stone and stuff. And then is it in... Here we go. Some ash. And if I come over here to the Elidel, and I drop the stone in there, along with the ash, and put in the coal, that should turn into ash-infused stone. There we go. So, we got that going. The next thing I need to do is make chalk. And chalk is made using clay and bone meal. So, we're going to need some... Whoa, go away. We're going to need some bone meal. And we're going to need some clay, which I believe I have in here. There we go. And let's just make a couple of those. And then, when I put that down, and I break it, it drops chalk. So there we go. Now let's see how this thing is doing. Um, it's getting there. It does give me enough. Oh, no, it says I need nine. Okay, I guess I gotta wait for it to hit nine. Uh, let me wait on that, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got the ash-infused stone. It's all cooked up. So, let's go ahead and claim our reward. And that's pretty much it, really? Wow, that's surprising. I want to make this, uh, this stuff here, the alchemical chests. But first, let's get into Equivalent Exchange 3 a little bit. So... The first thing we're going to do is knock out a little area down here. We'll knock out a 3x3, three three, like that. And I'm almost tempted to fill that in. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to fill that in real quick with... I'll just use regular cobblestone, um, because I don't particularly want to leave gaping holes down here. That just doesn't sound like a wise decision. So let's do this. There we go. Okay. Now we'll take our ash-infused stone. We'll put down a little 3x3 three three like that. I'll take the chalk. We'll hit V. Maybe we won't. Hold on. Controls. Yep, V is bound to something else. What is it bound to? Um, oh, here we go. Arcane Lens. Uh, let's just change that to L. And there's something else conflicting. Let me get this sorted out, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I am back and it appears as though I've got it sorted out. There we go. So if we hit V to make it a three by three and then do that, then it should work. We now should have a transmutation array, except I feel like there's something else that I have to do here. And I don't remember what it is. I thought after I put that down, then it started working. Let me grab my tome of alchemical knowledge. Do I... 
Ah, there we go. Shift right click with an open palm. I knew it was something like that. Okay, we'll put our Tome of Alchemical Knowledge in here. And now when I right click on this, I've got this cool interface. So, let's take a look at our Tome. And this is all the stuff I've taught the Tome about. And we can throw him in there. And then if I put, for example, Cobblestone, it'll show me the energy value, right? And everything that I can make using that. Well, I've learned stone bricks, so that's a thing. Glowstone dust is a little bit more, so I have more things open to me. If I put all of that in here, then it opens up even more. So basically, I can use this to exchange items, which is super useful. If I want to do cobblestone into stone bricks, bam, just like that, and that's all there is to it. No smelting or anything like that required. So this is going to make our lives a lot easier. Now, um, let's teach the... Actually, let's do this. One annoying thing about our current setup is that if I want to teach the book things, I need to have it in here. But if I want to use the system, I need to have it in here. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a second tome of alchemical knowledge. So let's see here. I need another leather. And I need three paper. Just like that. There we go. And then we'll grab a little bit of coal. I'm going to grab a mossy stone and a smooth stone as well, because I want to make sure that the, that the book knows how to make those. So mossy and smooth. There we go. And then I need one of those red, um, what is it, minium dust, I believe it's called. This stuff right here. Oh, it was with an I. So there's a couple ways I can make this. I can do four blue dust with an ash and turn it into minium dust, which I can get by doing 32 green dust to make one of those. Or, much, much easier, I can just calcinate something that has a high enough value. So something above... 8,192, that would be, for example, a diamond. So, if I throw you in here with the coal, this will spit out one of these red minium dust. And I just realized I'm going to need a little bit more coal. Should have grabbed more. Let's just grab a stack. There we go. Oop, come on. And that should be done now. Put our book, put our minium dust in and the coal. And that will give us the second tome. Now the tomes are identical. They will have still learned the same thing because they're linked to your player. So if I put that in here, and then once again, I fill this up with glowstone dust. We should see, no, ah, I have to right click it first. Okay, hold on. So highlight it, shift right click in your, there we go. Now they're linked. So now when I put this one in here and I do one of those, there we go. Now it shows me all the cool stuff I can make. So, we've got that up and running for us. Looking pretty good. And that is going to make our lives a whole lot easier as we expand our base. Because it'll make it a lot easier to get resources. Now, one downside is that I can't use it to get any resources that I don't already have. So, like, for example, cactus or some other kind of sapling or something like that. I, won't, I would not be able to use that for this. But, all in all, this is still going to be really beneficial, especially since we're doing a lot of cobblestone and 
stone and stuff like that in this build, uh, that will make it much easier on us. But that's pretty much all that we have time for in this episode, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.